Good day, Miss Lia. My roommates and I will be talking about the film review. My group members are Chen Yi, Jia Meng, Ji Yi, and An. The film that we choose is Rush Hour, which was released in 1998. Next slide, please. Um, this is the content that we will talk think about later. Now I'll pass to Ji to talk about the introduction. Intercultural communication has a very important role in our daily lives, but is often overlooked. It includes the ability to communicate effectively with people from different cultures and backgrounds. The ability to communicate with people from different cultural backgrounds allow you to better understand and appreciate different perspectives. Through intercultural communication, individuals can eliminate harmful prejudices against others and promote tolerance and diversity in society. It can give us new insights into other cultures as well as a great understanding of our own culture. Intercultural communication affects every aspect of our daily lives. Now I pass to uh, Okay, thank you, GE. So now I explain this film summary. Rush Hour is a 1998 action comedy film that appears Jackie Chan as Hong Kong detective Inspector Lee and Chris Carter as a fast-talking RAPD detective James Carter. When the Chinese culture daughter is kind of kin Kidnapped in LA, the per the Paris in Italy. What's her? Sorry, uh, separated relationship evolved into on on a cool the Paris part partnership as they on naval a part of the events by our powerful criminal road gentle. Next page. So this is the our main event. Uh, part of share with a police force. The case take a expected turn with permission and barrier with within the police department. The movie culminate at the British Embassy where Junto planned to action of the value Chinese art and kidnapped girl is found with a dog bomb spread to her. With their convenient skill of martyr art, virtual knowledge, street, smart and based con connections, Lee and Carter save the girl, afraid Junto and unmask the mole in the police department. Uh, Commander Grim, Grim. their successful adventure concludes with the new deal heading of to Hong Kong for their next adventure. Okay, thank you. And then I got past to uh, Hua, Hua Li, Hua Li, he, 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 Okay, uh, that is my part. You can see this picture and this words, uh, the film contest series, a uh, racism with a season in which an uh, offensive word is used between LAPD officers Carter and an elderly black man to address each other. So this word is a, a racist expression against black people. And although some people uh, believe that is used as a term of uh, endearment between black people. So this do uh this cram a uh, mentory term that targets different uh race group. So this section uh highlights the problem of uh race prejudice and degradation in uh society which headers to uh intercultural complication and exorbitant 
in divide between race. Uh, next page, pass to Jianmeng. Thank you, Chen Yi. Now, the argument that has been found in the film is, is the simple. There is a scene where Clive and Carter meet outside a restaurant. Clive showed Carter the simple in the truck, the bomb Carter wants. Carter felt very happy and surprised that Clive got the simple for him. He said, Iraqis can't even get safer. It may be in the variety that the Iraqi is relative less technology or capable country. Another underlying meaning that can be interpreted from Qatar's line is the virus that Iraq is still processes weapons of mass destruction. It shows the dual Iraq is now I will pass to the Thank you. Thank you. Also shows the stereotype that Chinese people don't understand English at all. In the film, they do not respond to Kat, but Kat directly assumes that they do not speak English. The stereotypes about people who don't speak another language can lead to increase the prejudice and discrimination, which in turn can increase social inequality. Now I pass to Kanjia. Um, thank you, Zui. The argument that has been found in the film is the ego of the FBI. The case of the kidnapping of Chinese Kung Fu Han's nine-year-old daughter was fully taken over by the FBI operation. Kung Fu Han requests that he wants his friend Lee to be in charge of the case as well, since neither he or her daughter is American. However, Warren Rush, the agent in charge from the FBI, did not want Lee to interrupt his case, so he asked Carter to watch Lee for not interrupting the case. In the scene, Rush said, I do not need any help from the LAPD or from Chongqing Court. He referred to Lee as Chongqing Court just because Lee is an Asian. This scene shows the prejudice of American people toward Asian people in this film. Now, I'll pass it to Anne. Thank you, Kongja. Okay. Oh, uh, I explained about the Chinese antics. The actually the Chris Carter and Jackie Chan is they their their view is opposite. The Jackie Chan and the Chris Carter thinking the Chinese antics is very beautiful, but doesn't understand the Chinese the antics, the historical importance that all. And he said he wanted the Buddha statue. Would sit his bathroom. This means he doesn't thinking the Chinese antique is not important. But Jackie Chan, in the, in this film, he always protect all the antique, even the bases during when he battle. Like unlike Carter, Lee protect all of the Chinese antique, and then he show the respect for culture history and then uh this mean this show like a Chinese people's value for the culture uh heritage heritage. Thank you. And then I got passed to the conjure. Thank you. Um moving on to the theories in intercultural communication that have been found in this film. Next slide please. The first theory is the communication accommodation theory. It was developed by Howard Girls in 1973, which is the concept that individuals adjust their behavior, non-verbal clues, and language use to improve understanding. In the film, Harper assumes Lee does not understand English, so he speaks loudly to uh he speaks to Lee loudly and clearly in English. Carter even utilized hand gesture to let Lee to put his bag in the back seat of the car. Next slide, please. Uh, next slide. Okay. The second theory is the faith negotiation theory. It was established by Stella Tingpomi in 1985, which describes how individuals handle conflict based on their cultural background and their needs and desire are reflected in the faith they presented to others. 
in the film, FBI agent Russ believed that Carter and Lee know nothing about the FBI operation. However, Carter and Lee managed to save Consul Han's daughter. He, uh, Ross meets with Carter and tells him that he did a great job saving Consul Han's daughter and that Carter is well received an FBI badge. This scene shows that uh, Ross lose his face because of his egoism, but to maintain his face, he used an FBI badge as his way to apology. Now I'll pass to Tian Yi. Okay, thanks, Kang Jiang. And this for my part is a film. You can see in this film, uh, Jackson and Lee come from the different culture backgrounds. So, and initial difference and uh, prejudice um, prevent them from the working together, uh, however, through their journey. And they uh, gradually overcome uh, obstacles and build a friendship. The film reminds us that prejudice came from a lack of uh, understanding and experience and that uh, prejudice is challenged and exterminated through the cross-culture uh, communication. It um, demonstrates the difficulties of the cross-culture communication, but also highlight the importance of the uh, mental respect and effective communication. So this film encouraged us to can improve our cultural um, boundaries and uh, promote uh, a cooperation and understanding. Okay, pass to Jiamo. Okay, thank you, Chen Yi. In summary, Rush or highlights the technologies and the significance of cross-culture communication. The film encourages us to break down culture barriers, fostering inter-culture exchange and uh, collaboration. It remains us that language barriers and uh, stereotypes hinder effective communication stressing the importance of fund stable communication styles and tools to overcome those obstacles. Next. From this film, we learned that intercultural communication is not only an important skill in the world, it is also an essential component in building harmonious relationships between people of different backgrounds. It enables individuals to gain insight into different cultures and ways of thinking, thereby reducing misunderstandings and promoting mutual respect through intercultural communication. People can eliminate racial discrimination, language, language barriers, cultural misunderstandings, and stereotypes of others' cultural prejudices so that we can create a more tolerant and harmonious society where everyone feels valued regardless of their cultural background. That's all from us. Thank you.